So Call of Duty World War II has been out for nearly a year. The multiplayer had issues. In terms of ranked play, it was a joke. I laughed whenever people took ranked play seriously because at the beginning, everyone was exploiting glitches. Never mind the game screwing you over with the connection issues, the bad hit detection, and not to mention the game would subtract points from you even after a win sometimes. Or having somebody leave mid-game which meant you were going to lose when that happened in a ranked match. As far as hard point goes, I still can't believe no points or score was given out for capping the objective. How the person that had the most time clocked and the second most defense in the lobby gets 5th or 6th on the leaderboard in total score is completely beyond me. Also, how it could take 3 or 4 headshots even at point blank range with most weapons just to get one kill was completely ridiculous. Is it even worth playing anymore? Is Call of Duty World War II worth playing now that newer games are being released? Black Ops 4 was just released a few days ago, and I've been asked several times by multiple people, should I trade in World War II for Black Ops 4? Is World War II worth playing now that newer AAA games are starting to come out? And nobody can really answer that except for yourself. It's all about personal preference. I will say this though, I love the World War II setting for video games. For first person shooters, there really isn't anything better in my opinion in terms of a setting. However, as far as gameplay with this game, I can go both ways on it. I like the campaign a lot. I rated it somewhat high in the Call of Duty franchise for campaigns. The multiplayer on the other hand, I never really got to that level that I've been at with pretty much every other boots on ground Call of Duty game. So for me at least, I can't say I plan on playing it in the long term. So if you feel the same way I do, I would say it might be worth considering to trade in for another game. Yeah, almost any World War II game is fun to play, but if you don't like the multiplayer or how the gameplay is, it's hard to keep a game just for the campaign is what I'm trying to say. Like I said, I love the setting. I like the campaign. There is a few things I like about the multiplayer. Maybe it's just the bad taste of how Sludgehammer has dealt with some things over the past year, but I just have not wanted to play it more than twice a month over the last six months. So to me, if you have the DLC for World War II, you like most of the game overall, I would say keep it. Why not? But for somebody like me that does not have the DLC and doesn't really enjoy the multiplayer aspect as much as the campaign, yeah, it could be worth saving almost 80 gigs on your console. It could be worth trading in just to try a new game that you haven't played yet. So are you keeping World War II? Have you already traded it in or are you planning on it? Let me know in the comments section below. I'm going to end the commentary a bit early, but I decided to throw in a few extra clips I had saved on my PC. Enjoy the rest of the video, have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Care package on the way. I knew there was a guy there. Hey, UMG, can you hit the... Oh. <laughs>